Not the cleanest of volley attempts, though. Takes a bounce and goes out. Bounce and goes out. Conference. Got a couple of semi close out evenly between Georgia, South Carolina, and then Flagler being, being the one down in Florida. Rail splitters being part of rail splitters being fairly well spread out in that region. Tennessee and North Carolina. A lot of east-west travel in that one. That long probing ball takes a strange bounce, but Herman able to corral it with one hand. Looking for Tony Berry down the line. Looking for Tony Berry. Long ball. Yezin will let it bounce and then play it with his head back to Davino. Able to find Val in acres of space. Val takes the touch, turns, finds Mazian on the run. Mazian likes to go back to Olsen instead of finding Barry on the overlap down the right. right. And then here's turnover. Definitely got to cut those out. That ball might have been destined for the baseball field, but the line. At least I assume they're baseball. They could potentially be across. Feeney whistled for the foul. Fine, it wouldn't be a football match without him. Pretty good crowd out for a Wednesday night, especially one that was already delayed by an hour for lightning. We did have some rain move through. Fairly heavy shower, but it only lasted for, for I don't know, four or five minutes. and Just enough to wet the pitch and drop the temperature about eight Nine degrees, absolutely wonderful conditions out there for the players at the moment. effort plays it out see another throw <laughs> time the referee says the ball came off of a rail splitter young Harris with the fast throw looking for Todd down the right side played out by the rail splitters young Harris with another throw in front of the Lincoln Memorial bench For an opening, tries to back to Barry. He plays backward. And Harris with the switch. That time, though, I believe it caught Whittingham a little off guard. He thought the 
Rail splitter defense was going to get ahead to the ball. Not able to quite get a touch on it, and it fell and hit Joel in the leg. Unexpectedly, I would presume. Looking at the short corner. Herman decides to try and switch fields quickly, plays it out. Young Harris will have the throw. They need to throw or bury. Bury back to Gutierrez. And under Plum. Over to Captain Kirkwood. And Harris showing a little patience. Feeney and Rigetti both looking to break lines. Kirkwood able to break through past that to the second line, finds Mazian on a run, but and here still able to knock the ball around. Mazian with the, with the back heel flick. Finds Olsen. Post. Sandre. With the goal, his second of this match, second of the season, Young Harris takes a 2 nothing lead. Good bit of teamwork there between Saad and Sandre. They're starting to work together quite nicely now. Goal scored by number 19, Sandre Olsen, unassisted at the 25-yard line. Young Harris Mountain Lions lead 2 to 0 over the rail splitters. Unfortunately, Saad not credited with the assist that time. I think we may have to go back and look at the replay later and, and give the lad an assist. Spencer agrees with me. But we're not the official keeper. Young Harris looks to keep the pressure up. Mikael Golan getting in on the action too. Saad, Sandre, and Mikael all looking to form a very dangerous partnership up top for the Mountain Lions. Oh, and that ball floating just wide. Barry looking to play it back across. Plays it off of a defender. Young Harris will have the corner kick. Sandre Olsen will go over to take this one. Young Harris will look to keep the pressure up. Sandre plays short to Valfini. Feeney with the right-footed cross, looking for back post. And here's with three players back there. That one service goes overall. Rail splitters will have a throw. retains the ball off of the rail splitter throw looking to find Saad tries to split some defenders takes the touch and goes down just a little slow getting up Herman plays the ball out though I think he thought Saad might have picked up an injury he just punts the ball directly out side Saad's still moving around a little gingerly, but no trainers called out. Young Harris just throws the ball back into to Herman. Sportsman thing to do. Play football matches are meant to be played. Left-footed effort straight to a mountain lion. That was Rigetti 
finding Olsen. Olsen not able to bring it down and get a shot off. Goes all the way out to this near side. Barry chases it down, wins the ball. Young Harris still playing around. Looking for an opportunity. Good patience by the Mountain Lions, not trying to force it. Getty in a hole. Getty in a hole. Find him. Looking for Barry down this right side. Just a little too far. Herman able to come out and shield it. He'll have the goal kick. Those splitters will play short. Play it back in. Mikael Goling doing. Mikael Goling finds Fetty who plays out wide to Barry. Finds Sandre. Barry looking for the return pass back. And Harris will have another throw. Short throw to Barry, not the cleanest of touches. One touch turns into three. And the play in far too long. We'll go out for another throw on the far side. Quinn Thompson re-enters the match. Looks like he's got some bandages. Rail splitters will make a couple substitutions at this time as well. Number nine and number 23 enter the match for them. Carlos Herrera, number 23, freshman from Birmingham, Alabama. Will Arrowwood, number nine, a freshman, uh, for a full of sophomore. Southern win for Lincoln Memorial, Kingsport, number nine, Tennessee. Will Arrowwood, and number 23, Carlos Herrera. Lincoln again looking to play out of the back through the goalkeeper. Subbing in for the Mountain Lions, number seven, Quinn Thompson. Feeney looking to switch fields, picks out Quinn on a run. Quinn with the right-footed cross, just a little too far for the, the on-running goaling. And here's the short pass, however. Loses the ball. Rail splitters will have the throw. Coach Rob King in attendance tonight. I see him sitting over in the stands. And here's college women's soccer coach. Women's team are now 2-0. Having won their first two regular season matches, they play their third one here Friday night, 7 o'clock against Montevallo, a place where Coach King has formerly been at. Young Harris taking a little too long defensively. Rail splitters with some good pressure. Young Harris forced to play the ball out. Davino not able to get a good touch. Rail splitters will have the corner, number 23 over to take the corner. Carlos Herrera. That'll be a left footed service. Uh -huh. 
high floating ball. Finds number two for Lincoln Memorial, but he plays it out wide. Timmy Townsend, a redshirt junior from Hummelstown, Pennsylvania. Davino with the goal kick. Finds Thompson, flicks it on to Olsen. I'm sorry, Goling, not Olsen. Goling with some nifty moves, does find Olsen, gets the return pass, then tries to go out wide to Whittingham, ends up losing the ball and committing the foul. Andre makes the defensive jump, toe pokes the ball away, finds it as far as Herman and plays it out, but goes to Garten, steps up. Sod will be whistled for the foul. Really not sure. Goalkeeper playing with his feet. That's a 50 50 ball. I'm not sure why it's a foul. Whistle was blown, though. will play short, plays it right back to Herman though, who pops it up. Coast Garten able to get the clearance for the Mountain Lions that time. Typically don't Fancy the chances of Val Feeney winning a whole lot of headers coming in at five foot six. Senior from Los Grea, Ireland. This one goes against the rail splitters. The Mountain Lions will have the free kick. Gutierrez with the long set piece. Finds Whittingham on the run at the top of the penalty area, far side, opposite edge of the field. Heads it across, looking for the mighty Quinn Thompson. They're not able to retain the ball in, in play. Jim Harris with a couple substitutions, 24, Pato Padilla. 33, Noel Moreno. And 25, Jamie Lapsley.
combinations on these long sets. Spencer, how much time have we got left in the first half? I can't see the clock. Under 12 minutes in this. Looking for Pato. Pato, the five seven freshman from Monterrey, Mexico. with the great defensive effort. And looking for openings. Sandre Olson. Forced to play all the way back to Herman. Into the area, right footed cross goes over everybody though. And it'll be a rail splitter throw deep in their own half. Great defensive slide, plays the ball out. For the rail splitters, they will have the throw. Finds Padilla, not able to make the turn though. Rail splitters play back up the field. Padillo looking for Lapsley. Lapsley finds Olsen. Plays Padilla, referee looks, plays advantage, young Harry. Getting his first in their last match against Emmanuel. Play it out, Young Harris will face down this right hand side. Now they are.
And we're back for the second half of tonight's matchup between the rail splitters from Lincoln Memorial University and the Mountain Lions Young Harris College. Young Harris with the 2 0 lead at the moment. Rail splitters able to put Young Harris goalkeeper Eduardo Diavino under pressure right away. Mountain Lions able to return the pressure on the rail splitters goalkeeper Herman. And Harris looking to continue the pressure. Right-footed effort over and wide. I believe that was by the mighty Quinn, as Tommy likes to refer to him, Quinn Thompson. Some first-half stats for you. Obviously, the big one goals. Young Harris leads that two to none. Shots, Young Harris seven. Rail splitters have had two. Shots on goal, Young Harris four. Memorial not able to muster any on goal in the first half. Lincoln Memorial with one corner, Young Harris had two. Foul count. He faced eight shots. And one yellow card. That was issued to number 25, Andrea Cantoni for the rail splitters. Young Harris with no yellow cards at this moment. Young Harris driving, that was Quinn Thompson, right-footed effort, well-driven shot, but driven well wide. Both goals for the Mountain Lions came coming from Sandre Olson. One was registered as unassisted. The other was an assist from Fede Gutierrez. That shot by the rail splitters well above the goal, almost over the netting behind the goal. Yezen Vanderplom has returned to the match for the Mountain Lions. He went out with a knock on the head. Has evidently passed all concussion protocols. Herman again put under pressure. Has to play the ball out wide. Young Harris will have the throw. Young Harris not giving him any time to work with his feet. Young Harris with some... Decent teamwork down that side. As Olsen driving, able to play off of a rail splitter. He'll have a corner kick at the, this opportunity now. Be a left-footed effort from the lad. Effort. Looking for Fetty on the backside. He goes down holding his head. I believe we had a head-on-head -head collision, but only one took the brunt of it. We will have a clock stoppage. Young Harris's athletic trainer, Haley Brown, out to see to Fetty. back on his feet, but he will have to step off momentarily. And he's jogging all the way back up to midfield. with a quick turn at midfield. Feeney looking for Golding with the dummy. Leaves it for Whittingham. 
Right footed effort well over the goal. Joel's got to do better than that. He knows it. Favors his left the foot, but still. For the time being. And no, there will be a call made. And Harris whistled for the foul. Real splitters with the free kick at midfield. Far side, just in front of the stands. Field. Have another throw at the end of their bench area. Yes, and I believe wanting the referee to take action. The Lincoln player comes in leading with his elbow. That time the ball skidded through. Fortunately, Mountain Lions not having to pay the price for that. Lincoln Memorial whistled for a foul. Referee plays advantage. Manziano a little fortunate. He was a little slow, but Young Harris able to play out of it and retain possession. And him comes back. Kirkwood finds Manziano, who's playing Whittingham down the left side. Joel not able to keep the ball in play. It goes over the end line. Lincoln will have the goal kick. Plays quick and short on the goal kick. And the outlet pass just drifts out of touch. Rigetti whistled for the foul. touch. Lincoln has the throw. Lincoln will win another throw right in front of their bench. Quickly take it. Lincoln Memorial enjoying a bit of extended pressure against the Mountain Lions. for a foul inside the box. I believe it was a handling that the Mountain Lions wanted on against the rail splitters. Referee does not blow the whistle. Young Harris on a quick turn back up the field. Now we'll have the throw in their offensive third. Quinn with the right-footed cross. Finds Joel Whittingham who beats his defender and puts it inside. A reverse header back inside the post. 
Quinn Thompson to Joel Whittingham for the third goal for the Mountain Lions. Young Harris leads three to nothing. Nothing Herman could do about that. by number seven, Quinn Thompson. Young Come on, Harris the lads. Three to zero. Lincoln Memorial has a player down. Lincoln Memorial has a play 15. He's grabbing his ankle or foot. I really can't tell which. That's Sonny Mathis. Junior from Dallas, Texas. You've got to wonder if he's got any distance relations to Spencer in here in the box. Probably not. He gets up and gingerly walks off the pitch. A little help from the trainer as well. Subbing in for Lincoln Memorial, number 23, Carlos Herrera. Carlos Herrera re-enters the match for the rail splitters. Spencer making his debut as the public address announcer for the Mountain Lions soccer tonight. Though he's trying to confuse people, he's got a hat that says Bobby. That way, if he does a bad job, everybody says it's Bobby that did it, and Spencer can go on. Young Harris wanting the whistle for handling from that cross in from Adam Kirkwood into the sliding defender referee not allowing it. Yeah, I'm kind of confused. Yeah, I'm kind of Bought it at a golf event. I, I was going with Ricky Bobby as well. We've got a stoppage. I think we have a player down, but I cannot tell due to the roof that's in the way. And, we, and the clock will stop. Bobby Jones. Yes, I know who Bobby Jones is. And I know in Alive, Bobby Jones as well. Okay. Captain Kirkwood calling for a substitution. 21, Charlie Wild will re-enter the match for the Mountain Lions. Subbing in for Young Harris, number 21, Charlie Wild. Looks like maybe Rigetti is the player that he was replacing. I don't see him out there at the moment. Quinn Thompson looking to break away down the right side again. Able to get past two defenders, plays it in. Unfortunately, the turn not quite what, quite what Is in Vanderplaum. Cool, calm, and collected at the back for the Mountain Lions. Rail splitters looking for a little give and go action down their left hand side. And Harris will usher it out. Have the throw in. Fetty Gutierrez is down. It looks like he took a st 
studs up challenge into the ankle. Referee has given us the throw, but I heard the clattering from the opposite side of the field. Referee will stop the clock. Harris with the throw. And Harris outlets to Whittingham down the left hand side. And Wild goes back to Yezin, back to Charlie. Kirkwood back to Whittingham. Whittingham with the left left footed cross off of a defender goes out. Young Harris will have a corner kick. Valfini's going over to set up for this piece. like Herman able to get a fist to that ball. Skids it off back. Young Harris will still have possession, but coming back to midfield. Yezin looking to find Gutierrez, who's still up top. Wild finds the referee under new rules. That's a stoppage. Young Harris will have a, an indirect free kick from this position. No, it looks like it will be a drop ball. Drop balls no longer allowed to be contested for the most part. Whittingham with the left footed cross. Thompson able to chase it down before it goes out. Olsen with the quick touch, left footed shot, takes a deflection. Young Harris still looking to capitalize off of it. Whittingham finds Mazian, left footed effort, deflected. Lincoln Memorial plays off of Valfini, goes backwards. Goaling picks it up, finds Thompson on the run. Thompson with the right footed shot going near post. Herman able to handle it easy and he's a quick outlet. Goaling with the with the theft of the ball right there. Misconnection from Olson. Not able to get the shot away. At least not toward frame. Hunter Strobel, Jr. from Strobel, Jr. In for Lincoln Memorial, number 21, Hunter Strobel. 21, Hunter Strobel, number 32, Jacob freshman from Heidelberg, Germany. 80, Stephen Stone. 32, Jacob Agazi, a freshman from Jackson, Louisiana. And number 80, Stephen Stone, a freshman from Lebanon, Tennessee. Freshman from Lebanon, as they play back to Herman. As they play back to Herman, Herman able to bounce it between four of his players at midfield. And Gutierrez goes back. Davino punches the ball away. Not the best option. Not the best service back to Davino. He did well just to handle it. Do away with the pressure. And Harris tried to quickly rebound and go back up the field. Nice slide tackle by the rail splitters. Plays the ball out. Young Harris will have a throw. Check 
able to result in a goal. Ozzy on. Continuing with the high pressure for the Mountain Lions. able to draw the foul. driven ball into a dangerous area. Unfortunately, we look to be rail splitters at that exact area. Exact area. We'll have a quick stoppage. It looks like there's a cramp by a young Harris player. Just briefly, though. He's back up and moving. Joel Whittingham looks like he might have had a minor cramp. trees possibly over the creek enough limbs didn't catch it Eight, seven subbing in for the rail splitters subbing in for Lincoln Memorial Will number Tidwell, 87 Will from Birmingham Tidwell. Alabama player down grabbing his head the referee has to stop the play Thompson upset by it because he was on a run however it is a head injury looks to be Sondry he went down right away grabbing his his head trainer Having an active night tonight, Haley is. Sandra will have to come off for a brief moment anyway. John, we need to do some renegotiating on these delayed matches where we have some catered food brought in. Hey, I'm feeling a mite peckish now after that hour-long delay. I was expecting to have dinner already. Need to have some discussions with Jennifer Rushton, the athletic director, about this. Whittingham. Plays the ball down. He looks a little shaky-legged as he landed as well. I think he might have nosed the ball instead of heading it, which, if that's the case, it'll make any, anybody's eyes water. Hey, 
Kirkwood with a valid argument. Why is that a whistle to foul right here, but it wasn't in the opposite corner? Whistled that time for the foul. That's our referee, Christopher Heinzman, decided there was a little too much challenge from the rear quarter. You know, it looked clearly like Charlie Wilde had all ball. Guess there was a little too much man with it as well. It's 21 set up to take the free kick. Hunter Strobel, the junior from Bradenton, Florida. Number six is also over it as well. Strobel with the take. Wall does its job. Strobel plays straight into it. Nurse is looking to break young. Rail splitters did a good job of stopping the counterattack. Time ball played out by the rail splitters. Young Harris played out by the rail splitters. Young. and looking to spring Sandry, but rail splitters there to cut the pass off. Brilliant tackle by Fetty. Whittingham looking for Mazian. Gets the left-footed shot, but always rising. Goes slightly over the crossbar. He's looking to go in that top left corner. Just a little too much punch on it, though. Rose up and over the crossbar. And here's whistled for a foul. Lincoln Memorial quick to put the ball back into play. with a shove in the back. Looked to be some six on six fouling there. Postway Camacho committing the foul on Captain Kirkwood. Looking for goaling. Ozion on the end of it, the left footed cross. Like Thompson trying to play it back in. Like Thompson trying to play it with a dangerous opportunity, still with possession. Quinn with the right footed effort, just a little shy. Lincoln finally have to play the ball out. Young Harris will have the throw. Thirty-three Noah Marino entering the match for the Mountain Lions. Subbing in for the Mountain Lions, number thirty-three Noah Marino. Noah not large of stature either. Listed at five foot stature either. Listed at five pounds. Freshman out of. Hello, Germany. I would say that 115 includes his boots, uniform, probably training suit, and possibly his bag as well. Might be a little generous on that.
So again, again we're going to make sure that for that matter, so do I. Hi, Bev. Throw into the box. Right footed effort. Effort. Blasted. And Harris plays the ball back in. Davino will switch fields. And Harris looking for the long switch. Not quite enough. Distance on the pass. And here's coming down the left side. Substitution at this time. 24. 24 Lions. He will give Mikael Goling a break. Long throw. By the Mountain Lions. Tried to be flicked on. Herman read it well. Subbing in for YHC, number 24, Pato Padilla. Kick near midfield. 17:30 remaining in the match. And Harris with a three-nothing lead. Long ball in. First met by Gutierrez. And then the rail splitters whistled for a foul. out tonight in the number six position week and haven't seen him much at all since the very beginning of the second half Charlie Wild has come in and filled in admirable admiral bully In both of those missing presences. Tony Berry set to check in for the Mountain Lions. Nine, ten, and twenty. Ten Pedro da Silva, grad student from Rio. Grad student from twenty August Hart. Subbing in for Lincoln Memorial number nine. Number 20, August Hart. In for the Mountain Lions, number 10, Tony Berry. Tony Berry.
Another mountain lion player down. So Tony's trying to help him stretch out a calf cramp. Some of which can be rather difficult. Again, we got started an hour late. We were under an hour lightning delay to begin. Had a slight five-minute downpour. <laughs> Wet the pitch for the gentlemen. I'm sure they absolutely love that. Ball plays much, much faster in that condition. Also cooled it down. Challenge. Hopefully, we'll play the ball out. Ball will go out, and Harris with the goal kick. Charlie Wild looks like he's about to be issued a caution. He is. With a set piece out wide right. Looks like they're set. Really not that long, but. Young Harris with all 11 men back. Ball over everyone. Young Harris will have the goal kick. Henry jog and then side step of the puddle. Row near midfield. Back to Gavino. Able to clear midfield. A couple headers by rail splitters, though, safely back. Come on, come on. 
Lions, six foot three freshman from Sterling, Scotland. And Harris looking to. Overall record. We have yet to start Peach Belt Conference play. This current result stands. Lincoln Memorial will move to 1 2 and 0. And they also, again, to start conference, have yet to start conference play. And here's with the long corner. And here's whistled for a high boot, dangerous play. Herman Quick. That goal by Pedro De Silva for the rail splitters. Lincoln Memorial goal scored by number 10, Pedro De Silva. And Harris set to make some wholesale substitutions. Looks like Fetty Gutierrez is set to check back in, as is Quinn Thompson. Joel Whittingham, Mikhail Goling. No se ha hecho presente todavía en el marcador vistiendo la camiseta de Pumas Tabasco, pero es uno de esos jugadores importantes en el...